Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to find out the shutter count on a Canon 5D Mark III. I'm selling this on eBay a bit later, so I know that the new user is going to ask me how many times it's been, uh, how many times the shutter has been fired. So that's important information which you can't readily find out from the camera itself or, you know, just by simply plugging it into the computer. It's a bit strange. So we're going to download a free um, program and then plug in our camera into the laptop and we'll find it out very quickly. Okay, so what you'll need is your camera. Then you'll need to access the mini USB port in the camera here, where you can see on this one. Right in the middle, there's two flaps here actually, so it's on the right hand flap. And you also need a mini USB cable. So one end is mini USB and the other end is just standard USB. So because my MacBook uses um, USB-C, you also need a dongle if you have a similar laptop to me. So the dongle, you can put the USB cable in, this part goes into the camera. This goes into the computer and then the power cable goes into the adapter to keep power going through everything. I'm going to turn my camera off to start off with, plug the cable into the camera so that's all set up ready, the physical part anyway. Okay, so next what you want to do is go on to Google, you type in free shutter counter first entry that comes up is free shutter counter dash check Canon EOS shut, shutter count uh, in brackets Mac. So I'm guessing there will be um, a version for PC. I'm not sure. Uh, I'm on a Mac, so I'm just going to show you how it works on the Mac. So you're going to click on that. It's got a complicated URL at the top. Um, I'll put it in the video description so it's easy for you to click and find. But it basically it says uh, in the URL, it says ORLV dot github dot io forward slash free shutter counter forward slash okay and then it comes up with a very simple interface uh, which says free shutter counter i'm going to click on the screenshot the screenshot actually specifically says canon eos 5d mark 3 which is great for me and the key thing here is is absolutely free in the old days when i did this you know five ten years ago you had to pay about 20 pounds for this um, software just to find out the simple bit of information. So now it's free. Uh, I've just done this earlier, so I know it works. So I've just reset my computer just to show you exactly how it works. So I'm going to just take the camera off and reverse it so you can see the screen. All right, okay, so we're looking at the computer screen here. We're going to download the software free shutter counter dash 1.2.2. Uh, DMG. DMG is the usual extension for Mac programs. Okay, so it's downloaded here. I'm going to click on that. It's going to open up the program. And then, as usual, you're just going to drag the program into your Applications folder. Open up the Applications folder. Free Shutter Counter is here. What I like to normally do is just drag it down into the menu bar down here. And then we're going to close down all these windows. And then we're going to click on the program. Free shutter counter cannot be open because the developer cannot be verified. OK, so this is a security measure with Apple computers. If it's not approved by the Apple store, then it locks it or prevents you from using it. So basically we'll go into preferences and we'll go into security and privacy and we're going to try and override this. So at the bottom here under general, allow apps downloaded from uh, is grayed out here. App Store or App Store and identified developers is not one of those. It's just a third party one, but it's safe. Um, Free shutter counter was blocked from use because it is not from an identified developer. I'm just going to open it anyway. And then Mac always cannot verify the developer of free shutter counter. Are you sure you want to open it? Yes. I think it's pretty safe. And then you get this very simple um, interface window. 
and it'll just say Con connect and turn on the camera, then push the button below, get shutter counter. Okay, so I'm going to turn on my camera here. And as you can see, uh, the mini USB is plugged into the camera here under the, the right hand flap. So it says AV out digital. And then following the cable that goes into my dongle, yours might plug directly into your, uh, your, your computer, but because mine uses USB-C, it needs a converter. So mine's got a little adapter. This is my power. And then finally, let's just press this. Easy as that. So basically I've done a lot of waffling and uh, talking, but actually the procedure is very, very simple. So as you can see, my Canon 5D Mark III shutter counter has a very low count of 34,502 actuations. That means I've pressed the shutter 34,502 times. And um, yeah, I think these, uh, these shutters are rated for 150 to 200,000. So there's plenty of life left in this camera um, when I sell on eBay later. Okay, hopefully that was help helpful to you and hopefully it saves you money.